what's going on guys I wanted to show you something real quick in my garage so this is gonna trip you guys out let me turn my lights on real quick this is the old Chevy Cruze 2012 you guys seen this before I had it on the channel a few times uh, you can see my Android radio over there but I'm gonna show you guys something new today so if you have an Android head unit in your vehicle Stay tuned. You're gonna be you're gonna be interested in this video here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. My radio turned on there, and you can see if, we'll give it a second, see if it boots up or whatnot. But it's supposed to connect to wireless Apple CarPlay. Let's see how long it takes. Normally it takes about 30 seconds. This is real time. It's kind of slow. Where are you at? There it is. So however long that was to connect to your car. So here it is. So I have wire, wireless. Oh, I got the radio playing. Turn the volume down. I have wireless Apple CarPlay on an Android head unit. So if you guys are interested in getting Apple CarPlay, if you do have a iPhone and you have an Android head unit in your vehicle and you're interested in getting trying out Apple CarPlay or you you know, Apple CarPlay works real good. Here's the dongle and the website is called Digital Octopus. Let me see if I can pop it up real quick for you guys. Um, here it is, right here. Digital Octopus. There's the dongle. You can reach out. You can reach out to this person on Instagram. You can follow him on Instagram. And let me see if I can go into the store real quick. It says visit sites. Mm, yeah, here it is. It's currently sold out. But if you reach out to him, he could probably hook you up. And I believe it's like eighty something dollars. So yeah, Digital Octopus, I've been using this. It's called Digital Octopus Wireless Pro, by the way. I've been using this for about three or four days now, testing out the maps on here. So it's basically running off your iPhone. It's not like it's running off the Android head unit anymore. Um, the dongle, I have it hidden. It's like right there. I don't know if you can see it real good, but it's right there underneath my steering wheel. Um, I have it attached with Velcro, and here it is. You can see you got the map, the phone maps. You get the messages when someone texts you while you're driving. This will actually uh, you get a notification, and if you tap on it, it'll read the notification too. Here is what's playing. You got offline music. Um, you got your audiobooks. Everything that you would have on Apple CarPlay. Uh, is what you will have here. You also have Pandora, whatever whatever you have. It'll pop up there. You can change the theme or the background wallpaper now. So they got that. And it's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm very excited that I finally have Apple CarPlay on here. And one thing I wanted to show you, if you do have... Um, where was I? Right here. If you... If you do have uh, the steering wheel controls like I do, you can play. The volume works. Just like it would, and you could also skip tracks. So you can skip track. All with the steering wheel controls. Just like you would be able to on any uh, car that has supports Apple CarPlay. So one thing I didn't try was the button here the play button to activate like the assistant or Siri so that's something that I haven't figured out yet but Siri does work um, there should be a button for it if I'm not mistaken um, let me see hey Siri navigate to Walmart So there you go. 
Siri works on the radio. It's just activated by voice. You don't have to push no buttons, I guess. But yeah, this is pretty nice. Um, like I said, I have an Android, an Android head unit and an Apple iPhone. So I really wanted Apple CarPlay and even better. Now it's wireless, Apple CarPlay, everything works. So link will be down in the description below if you guys are interested in doing something like this in your vehicle and you do have an Android head unit. Down in the description below. We out.